Welcome everybody, I'm Gold Leader, I'm joined by Patronus, and we're here for match four in our top 16 bracket for the Triwizard Tournament. Mm-hmm, it's been a lot of fun. We've had some oddly really close matches yeah. that have been really enjoyable to play, so hopefully they're as enjoyable for you guys to watch. Yeah, we, we are pretty new to Harry Potter, we, we found it last we, we knew about it, but we, we acquired well, you it. you knew about it. I knew it. about it for a long time. <laughs> and I acquired a collection at the um, 2019 Gen Con. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much where I got most of my cards. Yep. I never played in a competitive event. Um, I played the game once or twice when it came out, and that's it. So he had not yet been baptized in the lore of Harry Potter. Yeah, honestly. he did not truly appreciate it. Yeah, yet. I, I, had a, I had did not read the books in the early two thousands. I was a, a teenager, too much too much into magic and Star Wars, uh, which is not unlike today. I was gonna say that hasn't changed much, except you're no longer a teenager officially. <laughs> yeah, I only play old school magic too. Really, I don't really play any of that newfangled stuff. So again, still the same. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, so uh, for us, this tournament has been about kind of just like discovering how the metagame was left with all of the Wizards of the Coast official sets mm -hmm. um, and their their rules. The only rules difference is the mulligan rule. The mulligan rule, and we've been a little generous on stream with mulligans because we want good matches. Mm -hmm. And we took decks from basically the past two events that were at Gen Con, and we tried to find like 16 different archetypes. Yep. Where we couldn't find an archetype, we substituted a deck that we found on one of the Harry Potter Revival Facebook pages. So that's what I'm playing tonight. I'll be playing Albus Dumbledore, and I got this deck straight from the Harry Potter Facebook group because mm -hmm. we needed another deck archetype. And who doesn't like Albus? Yeah. I mean, he, you got to have the master here. He can get here. some love. Yeah, he, sure. can, he can always get some love. So we can, you guys can see where we're at with our bracket thus far. Yep. So we're, th after tonight, we'll be halfway done with the um, first round, essentially. Mm -hmm. Correct. We'll have uh, four of our top eight. We are on the right side of the bracket. And so far, I think we got a bunch of different decks, too. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah, which has been fun. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, the playing the tournaments on stream is the most fun I've had playing Harry Potter to date. I was a little questionable when we first got this game and we went up against the McGonagall deck and it just seemed to destroy everything. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm interested to see how all these decks play against each other. Which the McGonagall deck is in here at some point, I'm sure. Oh, it's definitely uh, Yeah, in there. it's going to be one of our last matches. So we'll see. Uh, I mean, it could still win. It, that's fine. I just could. wanted, I was just, wasn't sure if they're, what the gap was between like the best deck and all the other decks. Right. And I also wasn't sure how many different styles of deck can you make in a game where you only get two actions. Mm -hmm. Right. In a game like Magic, you have infinite actions. Mm -hmm. It's just as long as you have resources, you play a card. Mm -hmm. This game gives you resources, but you're limited mm -hmm. to the amount of actions you get, period. Mm -hmm. So that's like a little wrinkle. And I wasn't sure, like, do all the same archetypes exist? Is there control? Is there aggro? Is there tribal? And so far, there is. It seems to be all the same <laughs> stuff. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So we'll get going here. And if you want to know what decks we're using, um, there will be uh, the complete deck list in the comments when we post the video on YouTube. Yeah, in so, the description. Mm -hmm, in the in the comments description, you just click down, you'll see the deck list. We will uh, we'll put them there, and uh, you can uh, check them out. Play the decks for yourselves if you want. Mm hmm. So I am playing. Plain old regular Hermione Granger. Sorry, I know that's a little odd to see because it's actually foil. Um, her ability, if you already have two or more lessons in play, then whenever you use an action to play a lesson, you may play two lesson cards instead of one. So once I have two lessons in play, I can then put two lessons into play for a singular action. Yeah, so this will help me ramp. This, yeah, so here we go. Deck archetype we haven't seen before, right? It's ramp. a ramp deck, mm -hmm. which is very popular in, in other games. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing... 
Albus. Except Oops. he's upside down. Except he's totally upside down. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm playing Albus Dumbledore. Mm-hmm. So, first of all, Patronus loves ramp decks. I it's should probably, actually... That's probably her deck of choice in Magic there games. Oh. When we When we do play Magic, so... And, apologies, I did not swap out our little caricatures. I can do that really fast. Oh, that's fine. So, uh, I gave her the Hermione deck, and I took the Dumbledore deck. Yeah, ramp is definitely a style of deck that I have always liked with magic. Yeah. Um, it just suits my play style, because this, I like to this just play big fatties. seems to be more of a combo deck, which we have, I've played a deck similar to it before, so... Um, it's not really her style, but I, it's fine. And I honestly, which I didn't expect um, when I was putting these together, there's a good amount of overlap with the cards. They're they're both heavy in charms. So I'll be interested to see, actually. I've We've not really played a match where there was overlap with strategies in that regard before. Yeah, I don't think so. At least not for this our little Triwizard Tournament. So yeah. I'm actually interested to see how that plays out. Sure. And I took a seven card hand. We should roll. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's the highest I think I've ever rolled on stream. And you tied me. <laughs> All right, Captain can't roll to the rescue. Oh, okay. I got eight. Yeah, that's my uh, official nickname, Captain Five. Can't Roll. All right, roll. you got it. That was my name from uh, Worlds, uh, playing Star Wars and any other game. All right. Keeping or mulliganing? I'm keeping. <laughs> okay. Um, I can keep mine, too. All right. So okay. I get to draw, and I'll play a lesson, and then I'll play a second lesson. Sure. And I'm done. Oh, by the way, Dumbledore, his ability is, um, so you know, if you have at least four lessons in play, spell cards with a printed power of six or more need two less power to play oh okay so once you get to four you can start playing your sixes and ups right all right cool draw let's and do if you're a similar in chat thing. watching the stream live welcome uh, please pop it in chat we love interacting with everybody so so i'm gonna do the same thing lesson lesson so that way i can turn on my ramp your ramp okay so you're done so mm-hmm. i'm gonna draw and yeah, I'm just gonna lessen lessen again. Riveting. Yeah, not so exciting. Go ahead. Draw. Not a lot of action here. All right, then I'm going to lessen so I can play two now that I've got two in play using Hermione's ability. And then I'm just gonna use a. Rose growth. So do two damage to your opponent or to a creature, then draw a card. Okay. So obviously I'm dealing it to you. All right. And that's all I got. Okay. I'm going to draw. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use my first action to draw. And my second action to play a lesson. Okay. And you're up. Draw. Lesson. Okay. And let's play a Doxy. When you play this card, you may choose another creature and play and deal two damage to it. But obviously, we're not triggering that. Okay. She is, does two damage every turn and has one health. All right. Go ahead. Draw. I am going to play a Lesson. And then with my second action, I'm going to play, how do you pronounce this? Aliosi. Aliosi Drought. Do six damage to your opponent or choose one of his or her items and discard. I'm just going to deal you six. Yeah, makes sense. One, two, three, four, five, six. And pass the turn. All right. Draw. So I'm going to take two from Doxy. Correct. Let's start with a rose growth again. Okay. So two damage, and I draw. And second copy, two damage, and I draw. Okay. Go ahead. Draw. Okay. 
I'm going to play a lesson. And then I'm going to play... Alley OC again. Yep. So I'm actually uh, put it on damage. camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should be doing that. Sorry about that. So I'm playing that. Dealing her six. Yep. So that was the second copy of that. And you're up. All right. Draw. I take, take two. two. Let's go with a Bewitching Snowballs to deal you three. Okay. And I draw a card. And let's go with Lesson. Okay. My turn? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's play a Lesson. And then we're going to play, we're going to play Reparo, okay. which allows me to put a non-healing card from a discard pile into my hand. Oh, cool. So I'm going to take, so here's a Reparo. Sorry, it is a proxy. Yeah, I think we've only got one or two copies yeah, of that card, and, and it's already in one of the other there's decks. There's a lot of overlap. And then I'm grabbing Venomous Tentacular Juice out of my discard pile. Okay. Interesting. And you're up. Okay. Um, draw. Let's play a. Nor I'm gonna take two for docs. Oh yeah. You keep forgetting. I do keep forgetting. We're gonna play a Norwegian Ridgeback Big Dragon. Play this card. Remove to return two of your care for magical creatures lessons from play to your hand. Deals seven damage every turn and has five health. So I have to bounce two of these. Okay. And my second action is just going to be to replay a lesson. Okay. And put them back in play. My turn. Yes. Okay. I'm going to play blue wig and mm -hmm. deal you four damage. And Me? then draw a card. Yep. I don't think I could kill that dragon, right? Five health. Yeah. You could kill that, but yeah. it's one health. Probably better off just stealing me four. I think so too. And then I'm going to play Bewitched Snowballs to okay. deal you three damage and then draw a card. Okay. And then it's your turn. All right. Draw. Okay. And how much does the witch back deal? Seven. So I'm taking nine. nine. Okay, and I'm trying to think. I don't think there's the equivalent of an uh, Armageddon in this deck of a destroy all creatures regardless of health. You mean like Armaged you're always dealing, da or I'm sorry, a wrath. Yeah, not Armageddon. Yeah, um, uh, there definitely is, but I don't know what the card is, and I don't know if it's in the. Okay. When I was playing blue, there was one that destroy that like dealt two damage to all. Sure, I think it's, but I, yeah, again, I think it, it I think just deals a, a certain amount of damage. I don't think it says yeah. destroy all creatures in play. I think there's play. a red one in Transfiguration. Mm, okay, interesting. All right. Hey, we have someone in channel. Orko, I loved Dumbledore. I have a Dumbledore deck and my friend plays Draco. Spoilers, we call it the Battle of the Blank Wand. Fair enough. That's awesome. <laughs> I would love to see your uh, your Dumbledore deck if you want to go to uh, home base games you um Facebook page. Mm -hmm. If you want to link it up, I would love to see it because I've only seen this Dumbledore deck and I would love to see more. I would even feature it on stream. So send me your list. Okay. Uh, Vaughn says there's a card called Fumos that deals damage to everyone. Okay. So maybe there's a couple of cards. Fumos is the one I played that was seven and it dealt okay. two damage to all creatures. Sure. But I think there's a card in Transfiguration, like a rare, uh -huh. that just kills them all. Okay. But Interesting. I, but it's Transfiguration, yeah. not Charms. Okay. For my So knowledge. my first action is just going to be to draw a card. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to draw another card. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So my first action is to going to be play Dobby's Help. Okay. And that is going to force you to draw 10 cards. All right. So here's the thing. One, yeah. So she two, knows what's coming. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. The 1, miss. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so then I'm going to have you draw 32 cards. Oh, it's double? Yeah. Ven Venomous. Oh, okay. Well, then, so, yeah, I'm definitely yeah, when dead. You get the, when you get the I thought Venomous was, like, draw that many cards, it's, not it's, double. I'm pretty sure it's twice. Yeah, it does say twice. All right, I'm dead. So, <laughs> that is the combo. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that uh, Dumbledore deck is at least. I wasn't sure how competitive it was going to be against this Hermione deck because it, has, uh, it was actually in a tournament and placed, you know, within the top six. Yeah, I know. Um, I know people like the combo Venomous Tentacular Juice and mm -hmm, Dobby's Help. Right. But I never in neither of the tournaments did I see the deck played, so I wasn't sure if people thought it wasn't good enough to be played. Yeah, that's true. Um, even though, or it's... maybe it was just not the new hotness anymore, and people yeah, wanted know. to do new new stuff. Uh, Vaughn, Transfiguration exam costs ten. Discard all creatures and play. There we go. Thanks, Vaughn. You're the best. I knew there was a card. Yeah, that's where I, and that's where I was like, I don't know if I want to overextend and play more things because if they all just get auto wiped, or you just want to play and just get me dead before I get my combo. Right. Which you were very close. Uh, yeah. Yeah, knowing that you got the venomous tentacular, I was like, "All right, I've only got so many turns before." Yeah, once, yeah, once your opponent is using a card to put that put a combo piece in their hand. Uh huh. Yeah, it's I know only it's a, a clock. two card combo. Yeah, I know I'm on a clock for sure. Yeah, two card combos in this game seem ridiculously strong because you will because you have two actions. Mm -hmm. Three card combos. Are more, some they're a little more interesting to me yeah. because then you have to play some kind of action cheating uh -huh. so you can like do it in a turn right and you have to plan it out a little bit more. right like if you're playing with you have to like, like play nuts and yeah you have to like play or, money or... or other things that cheat mm -hmm. you actions yeah. which i think could be an interesting set design in this game if there was more cards that allowed you to cheat actions well and i think there's quite a few in the new era Slytherin fan expansion by the HP Revival Group, because yeah. I know a couple of the characters were all about triggering off of having taken four or five actions in yeah. a turn. So I have a that feeling, yeah. And then also, like, more design space would be to make cards that punish you for taking additional actions. Yeah. You have to. Yeah, you have to balance it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Dumbledore. Dumbledore wins game wins one. Wins the game. Yeah, I had no answer to that ridge back. I guess I could have played both my spells on it, but I knew knowing that I had the combo piece, I was yeah, just like... Yeah, it's just a race at that point. Yeah. All right. I... Should and I'm sure fine. this deck's super vulnerable to certain things, too. Probably. Like, you have to have... So to cast Dobby's help, you have to have ten. Well, eight, eight with him. Eight. Yeah. Which I did have eight, right? I'm assuming I didn't so. screw that up. <laughs> Guess we'll check the YouTube video later. <laughs> I think I had eight. Oh man. Oops. I don't think it was that. I mean, did you have lessons in your hand? I did. Okay, so that was a matter of one turn. I don't think I could have killed you in one turn. Yeah. I did have quite a few cards left. Oh, I hope I didn't screw that up. I didn't even count. <laughs> you did have a ton. I think you had it. I think you had eight. Yeah. Because you had an even amount in your two piles, and it looks I like it was eight. So. Well, maybe, I don't know. This deck seems super vulnerable to lesson destruction, like cards that say mm -hmm. discard a card, and, if, and you have nothing in play but lessons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because all of your big pieces require a ton of... Uh, power. Power. Right, yeah, exactly. And Dumbledore's there to try to cheat it, obviously. Are you keeping? Yes. I'm going to keep as well. Okay. Draw. So good. Lesson. Lesson. Okay. Lesson. Lesson. Draw. Take a lesson action. The one of each. Yeah, we gotta make you your own Hermione deck. This is just so your jam. <laughs> when we when we first got this game, we had such a small pull of cards. Yeah, like it was. Super... I did actually make a deck with her. That was your first deck. That was the first deck I put and together. I made, and I tried to make a Draco deck. Remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm mine pretty was sure like, Hermione was, wrecked you. <laughs> I was trying to do like a discard. Remember, I was trying to do like a discard thing. Yeah. And I just got 
owned by Hermione. Yeah. Uh, second action is just going to be playing Guide to Household yeah. Pests. My favorite deck in in most games is like when you get to randomly discard a card from your opponent's hand. <laughs> like that is like the best feeling to me. Well, yeah, because you played black in Magic in 93 and 94. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Hypnotic Spectre, best card ever. And him to Torak. And him to Torak, oh man. All right. Draw. Yep. Uh, lesson. And lesson. You got it. Yeah. Draw. <laughs> Let's do. Rose growth, two damage, and I draw a card. Okay. And lesson. One of each. Done? Yep. Okay. Let's play uh, rope bind to deal uh, two, Me. Two, two and draw, or no? Yep. Is that the same thing? Deal two damage yep. to your opponent, or then draw a card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll draw. And then I'm just gonna draw. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's. This isn't unique. Let's play a second guide. Yeah. And then I'm at eight. Yes. And then I can play a dragon. Seems good. It's a very early dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the penalty for playing that one? You have to... I have to bounce two lessons. Okay. Done? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we are going to, we're going to play a lesson. And then we're going to play Bewitch Snowballs, and we're going to deal three damage to the dragon. Okay. And then draw a card. So I got dice handy, so we'll do that. Yeah, go ahead. Done? Yep. We need to make Harry Potter tokens. I'm sure I can S make that thought. happen. <laughs> Draw. All right, let's go with... Oh, take seven. What? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm having some uh, Shivan Dragon flashbacks right now. <laughs> Drakaris. Um, all right, so we're going to take lesson action to replay those two care magical creatures lessons. Mm -hmm. And let's play a Doxy. Okay. Two power. All right. No other effects at the moment. Mato? Yes. All right. Draw. Ooh, what does this do? Interesting. Um, dragon is a problem. All right, we're going to play an action. We're going to play, uh, oh no, not going to play that. Oh wait, what does this do? If you have at least four lessons to play, spell cards with printed power of six or more. Okay, six or more. We are going to play Gringotts Key because mm -hmm. it cost yep. that. Yep. And then I can any card, go look for any card in your deck. Yeah. yeah. I can tutor. You can tutor. Demonic tutor, literally. No wonder you're liking this deck. It's all of the black cards from the old yep. school magic format. Um, let's take a rope bind. Okay. Makes sense. And then let's hit that dragon. Sure. Hi, dragon. And then I'm going to shuffle and have you cut and draw. All right. And that's my turn. Okay. Rock card. Yep. Uh, you take a damage. I'm sorry, two damage. That's right. One, two. And I'm just going to draw a card. Okay. Draw a card. Gosh, dang it. Draw. Well, at least I can't draw it anymore. Okay. Um, do 
you have how many resources? Six. Plus these two? So oh, that's eight. eight. Yeah. So there's probably nothing you can't play. Um, I'm going to play a wand shop, which doubles our charms power. I'm okay with it. I kind of figured. It could backfire on me. And then... Then I'm going to play a... L.E.O.C. Draught? L.E.O.C. Draught. Um, and I'm just going to choose uh, to deal you six. Okay. You should put it on camera. I will. I do have a real hard time pronouncing a lot of these cards. <laughs> that's okay. I might be pronouncing them wrong, but wrong, but that's my guess. All right, you're up. Okay. Draw. Let's play Fluffy. Oh, I was worried that you had that in your deck. <laughs> I wasn't sure. Thank you, one shop. <laughs> yeah, backfire. I have to discard two care of magical creatures lessons from play to be able to do that. And wow, fluffy. So deals twelve a turn and has twenty one health. <laughs> so I'm not killing it. Nope. I'm sure there's probably a harp of some or a flute of some kind in the game that allows you to uh, make fluffy go to sleep. I don't know. There's definitely a harp in the in the um. In that care of magical creatures, because I see you see Hagrid playing it, uh -huh. I think, but I don't think it kills Fluffy. Oh, well, it could like put him to sleep for a turn or something. Yeah, I don't know, because that would make sense. Uh, um, second action is to draw a card. Okay, go. Well, that changes things. So this would be six, seven, eight. I mean, I have the combo, but I don't think it'll win me the game. So I don't know if I play it. I have six cards in my hand. 16. Okay. It won't win me the game. Uh, I have 35 cards left in my deck. So will it? Well, you I think it will. Cards left. Yeah, because if I one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right. and then you'd have to make me draw 32. thirty-two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, wow. I'd All lose. Right. I have it. All right. I, have... I can't do anything about it. Wow, that's crazy. Because this only makes it cost eight. Yeah. And this is one, two, three, six, mm -hmm. seven, eight. And this makes it only cost seven. Yeah, so I'm done. Wow. Yeah, this I, I'm surprised that this combo is not played more because honestly, that seems almost too good. Yeah, I mean. Especially with Dumbledore making them cheaper. Yeah. So it's like it didn't even matter that I let you cast Fluffy. Yeah. Because I just won on the next Yeah, turn. and I mean, I wasn't even going to get, I wasn't even really I needed at least two more turns to kill you. Yeah, I mean, minimum. I, I had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, plus, plus two. four. So four. So I needed yeah two turns and a spell. Yeah. So which I had a spell, but yeah, so I still needed two turns. Two turns. Wow, that seems super fast. Yeah. Okay, All that, right. that was the first match we had that was not that close. close. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it was the random deck from, yeah, from the, the revival Harry. group. This was I'm, gla deck. I'm glad it actually was strong. I was yeah. a little worried that I was just gonna get wrecked the same way I just got wrecked. <laughs> I was I was I was nervous too, considering like I said, there was no venomous tentacular juices in the entire tournament. Which I mean, I don't know, too, like, again, we're not playing with sideboards. Mm -hmm. So this deck, That's true. This deck yeah. might be super sus uh, susceptible to some kind of sideboard hate, mm -hmm. um, which would be reason why people wouldn't play it. So, like, an example, like, if you're playing a deck that maybe is super resolves around a combo by playing something out of your discard pile, mm -hmm. 
And, well, and, the, and there's sideboard cards that right. would remove a discard pile or prevent you from doing that. Right. Like in, there is, um, what's the card from the Revival group that's the the location from, it's it's the location from the second book, Chamber of Secrets, and it says you can't play cards from the... Oh, yeah, I think that was a thing. Remember, remember, vaguely, vaguely I can't remember. remember what it was. But there's also things that nerf you in terms of the number of actions you can take in a turn or require you to take specific actions in your turn, which would prevent yeah. you from being able to play your two-card combo. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, whew, I just got wrecked. I mean, that was probably one of the fastest matches we've ever played. For sure. And every match we've played so far on stream has, has gone, gone to three. To, gone to three and been close. Yeah. Yeah, so, that wasn't even close. Wow, that was fast. Yeah. All, All right. right. Well, um, by the way, Vaughn also did look up. There is a wooden flute. It's uh, It costs eight and choose up to three creatures and play and return them to their to their owner's hand. Okay. So that's so that like makes the perfect sleep sense. effect. Yep. Yeah, for sure. All makes right. perfect sense. I kind of figured it seems like that would be a little bit of a flavor fail to not yeah. have that with uh, in that Chamber of Secrets set. Sure, sure. It would no, make perfect I, sense. I agree. Okay. Well, All right. Well, I'm quick sorry, night. I'm sorry we are cutting the stream <laughs> short. Um, I thought this would just go a lot longer. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But, but that's okay. That was a legit, unless I screwed up the first game. I don't think you did, though. I think we're good. Yeah. If, if I did, we'll... Uh, we'll hear about it. We'll hear about it for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, if you're interested in pulling up that Alba's Dumbledore deck list, like we said, I will be posting that in the description of yep. the YouTube video that I will probably post up tomorrow. Along with the Hermione Granger. Of course. We'll have both deck have lists both. In, the, in the comments, mm -hmm. and we'll... Uh, We'll see you next week for match number five. What do we uh, look at the bracket? What, yeah. what, we're going to go across the bracket. Let's see what the match is going to be. It is going to be Colin Creevy versus Hermione Potion Maker. Oh, that's right. I put We put two Hermione's because they were completely They're very different, different. Decks. Yes, very, and I was very, very excited to see. I thought this deck would go a little farther. Yeah. In the, in I mean, it's obviously... Cool. It's cool, and I if it wasn't against that match up, it might have done better. It would have done a lot better, I yeah, think, because are everything, right? being able to put big. those big creatures that are hard to deal with. I wonder how good this deck would be with the basilisk. Yeah, that basilisk know. creature so seems expensive. so good, yeah. and it's expensive. And yeah. then you, you play it, and then like you start petrifying all of your opponent's permanents. Uh -huh. Yeah, seems good. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, quick well, night, but that's okay. Yep, we'll see you guys week, next week. We'll see you for the new match. <laughs> and uh, please remember to uh, follow us on Twitch so you get the notification when we're streaming live. And like and follow and hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Uh, that will also let us, you know when we're posting a new video. Thanks, everybody. See Good you night. next week.